Hello everyone. Okay, before I talk about uh, creating G-code from our toolpad in Woodby, uh, I would like to recap what we have done in previous videos. In this Grasshopper definition, you can see that we uh, we had some objects to mill, and we used this automatic feature detection of Woodby in order to extract features and create um, suitable operations to mill the parts and we um, focus on one of the operations and then we modify that to improve the quality uh, of the surface and then we uh, pass it to the simulator and we got a tool pad out. We also learn how to change the feeds and spindle and how to set up the tools that are needed for the uh, for creating a tool pad. In this video, we're going to convert the toolpad into a G code which is going to run on a certain machine. Um, in order to do that, we need to have the POST processor for our machine. Currently, um, there's only two POST processors available in Whitby. If you're looking for a POST processor for your machine, uh, please uh, feel free to contact uh, us at info at parametrixzoo.com uh, we're going to get back to you with some questions of what we need to create a post processor for your machine and in a kind of collaboration work we will set up that post processor we will add it to the would be machine library so that uh, you and all others that have the same machine can use that processor and convert their toolpad to g-code since the workflow of converting toolpad to G-code, uh, regardless of post processor, will be the same for all machines. I'm going to just uh, use what uh, exists in the Woodby library. It's a very basic machine, which has uh, a three axis of milling. So what I'm passing uh, through should be a toolpad which can be milled with the three axis machine. And I'm having my rough cut here, which was a, a two-dimensional contouring, so obviously can be done with the with this kind of machines. But what I need to watch is to make sure that the machine can um, contain all the parts. And for that, you uh, you can see a, a kind of um, space which the machine can work in. I just need to make sure that all the parts that I have are within this area in all the uh, directions. And not only the parts, uh, I have to make sure the toolpad is actually within this area. So I'm just going to move them a little bit in and now that should be fine. The next thing we need is a G-code um, exporter, so that is under utilities. And we can now connect our machine to the exporter and our toolpad to the input toolpad of the G-code exporter. The G-code exporter will write the G-code into a text file, so I have to provide a text, an empty text file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, the file pad component in Grasshopper. And I'm going to set a new file location. We'll be creating an empty text file. Simply right click and choose the text document. Then name that as you want. Uh, here I'm going to use um, the rough cut because it's it's about the rough cut and G cut. So there we go. We select that and we're going to save. It's going to ask us if the file is, exists. That's fine. Okay, so uh, we will simply connect that to the output file. And what it does is basically writes the G code into the file which we provided here. Uh, we can have a quick look at what happened. Either you can go into Explorer and open the file and see if the text file has been created, 
or you can actually do that inside the grasshopper just use read file component and then display the content in a panel so you can see that uh, right now we have got gcode with the number lines all the comments that is specific to this machine and we can use that to load it to our machine and run it i hope you enjoyed this video and in the next video we're going to show you how to uh, convert the toolpad into into a set of KUKA PRC commands that you can use it for your KUKA robot in case you have one thanks for watching and see you in the next video